Hey guys, it's Shelby. If you've been watching my videos for any amount of time, I think you should know that I am not about perfectionism. My literal saying is you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. And this is because I think whenever I first came to like the zero waste movement, there was so much talk about the trash jar and actually having zero waste, you know, that sort of thing. And over time I realized, that's not possible for like 99% of people in the world. And I think that presenting a lifestyle that way is counterproductive to getting more people on board, which is what the movement needs. So I use the word zero waste because people identify with it. It's like a good search term. It's also a good way to like shock people into paying attention, if you will. But I'm not zero waste, okay? I don't buy everything plastic free. I don't never take out the trash. That's just not realistic for the society we currently live in, which is fine. But this video I wanted to share because these are 25 things that I never buy in plastic. And I think that that's a good way to start thinking about it, right? Not that you have have to be zero waste, but there are these areas where it's pretty straightforward to be able to cut plastic out of your life. I'd love to hear in the comments if you find any of these to be particularly difficult or easy. And also I'm going to have everything that I talk about today linked in the description if I talk about alternatives specific and all that kind of thing. So here we go. The first thing I never buy packaged in plastic anymore is deodorant. Now I did buy deodorant in plastic packaging for a very long time. This exact brand actually. It was the only thing I was consistently using in plastic and personally I think that if you're living a sustainable lifestyle you shouldn't have to stink to do so. So if it, that's one area where like the only deodorant you found that works for you comes in plastic, more power to you. But this is literally the only deodorant that was aluminum and paraben free that uh, was working for my stinky self. And I'm sure a lot of you know the story that I was using native deodorant in plastic packaging for years while simultaneously asking them to switch to plastic free packaging every couple months or so. And eventually they did that. So this is native's plastic free packaging for their deodorant. I absolutely could not love it more. My favorite scent is the charcoal, always has been. Deodorant is something I never buy in plastic anymore. And if you use my code SHELBY9, you can actually get 25% off of your first set as well. And something else that's really, really cool about this specific deodorant, their plastic free version, is these are part of 1% for the planet. So not only are you doing better for the planet in purchasing plastic free packaging, not only are you not gonna stink, but you're also giving back to environmental nonprofits as well. So very, very cool. And they get more bonus points for being vegan and cruelty free because I think at one point they weren't vegan that they had beeswax. And then again, I just think Native is such a good brand that has actually responded to the things that their customers asked for. We asked for a vegan formula and we got it. So just love to you Native, okay. I also never buy shampoo in plastic anymore. For many, many years actually, I guess it's been like, it would be since like 2013. So that's like eight years. I switched to Lush Shampoo Bars around my sophomore year in college. And right now I'm using Plain, so it's a refillable aluminum bottle. But there are just so many options now on the market to avoid plastic shampoo bottles that I think it's something nobody should ever be buying in plastic. Whether it's literally buying the like $4 shampoo bar that they actually have at places like Walmart now, or you're spending a little bit more, like the shampoo I use admittedly is pretty expensive, but I only buy it like twice a year but wherever you are on the spectrum there is a plastic free version that exists so I highly encourage you to check those out I also think that if you are a person that shaves going away from plastic razors that a lot of times can't even be recycled a lot of them end up in our oceans I mean in the US I think the number is something like 8 billion plastic razors are used every year it's just insane. So definitely a safety razor that is plastic free is a much more sustainable option and they don't come packaged in those like plastic box things. Toilet paper, never buy toilet paper that's wrapped in plastic anymore. I use Who Gives a Crap. I'll leave it linked below with a little discount for you if you wanna check it out, but it does come shipped carbon neutral and plastic free. Love them. 
I never buy pads or tampons that come packaged in plastic because I have a zero waste period routine with my Thinks reusable period underwear. I'll link a recent video I did uh, right here about that. But also plenty of people use different things like reusable pads is another option. Um, I know menstrual cups, a lot of people absolutely love and swear by them. All of these options will not only save you waste but also save you money. So I think for the majority of people, there is an option out there for you to avoid plastic in this area. Same thing with toothbrushes and toothpaste. I use a biodegradable toothbrush, but more so it doesn't come packaged in plastic because on top of having a plastic toothbrush, they're always packaged in plastic. I use brush with bamboo, all compostable packaging. And the toothpaste I use is not a plastic aluminum laminate, which most toothpaste tubes are, which makes them incredibly difficult to recycle and they are packaged in plastic. I use one that comes completely in aluminum. But there are so many other options out there where you can get tooth tabs. I know a lot of people love and swear by those. Many of them come completely plastic free. Makeup wipes as well, a lot of them are not 100% cotton. They actually have plastic in the wipe, but they also always come packaged in plastic and I never buy those anymore. There are a lot of different reusable versions out there. I just use a rag and like an oil cleanser, no problem. But there are a lot of options to stop buying makeup wipes in plastic. On the note of makeup wipes, I also don't buy like powders in plastic anymore. So things like eyeshadows or highlighters or anything like that. Again, the space of zero waste beauty is pretty lacking. Um, but when it comes to being able to buy eyeshadows and things like that completely plastic free, there are quite a few brands on the market. I'll link my zero waste makeup video up here if you want to check that out. I also don't buy skincare in plastic anymore. There are so many brands, specifically when we talk about skincare these days, using sustainable ingredients, sourcing things sustainably, uh, packaging things in glass at the very least. There aren't a lot of zero waste companies, but there are a lot of brands using different materials than just plastic bottles. So I find that it's easy enough to find a brand that's packaging in at least glass so that I'm never buying skincare in plastic. And lotion. This is something that's not the easiest to find plastic free, but there are options. There are lotion bars, and specifically, I personally use plain lotion, which comes in an aluminum bottle, and they have their own refill program. So you send it back, they refill it, and send it back. But as long as those options exist for me, I'm gonna stick with them and not buy lotion in plastic bottles. This next little section is about food. So three things I never buy in plastic because I can always find them in bulk. I'm lucky enough to have that. But also you can always find them in either a tin or paper or cardboard are oats, rice, and beans. Those are always things that I can find in bulk personally. But even if you can't, there are beans in tins, there are rice in boxes, there are oats that come in paper packaging. So I just never buy those things in plastic. Also pasta. Pasta, whenever there's like a very obvious choice between a plastic bag of pasta and a cardboard box of pasta, go with the plastic free one. Actually, at Central Market, where I usually do most of my bulk shopping, they used to have some pastas in the bulk section. They got rid of those because of COVID, but they now have a completely plastic-free uh, pasta. It's like a bag, it's paper, no plastic. So that's really, really cool. I felt a little hesitant putting this one in there because I'm not sure if it's a never, but veggies. I'm pretty sure that at this point I've been able to find all the veggies I want to buy without plastic. I might have to go to a couple different stores and so it's not like an every week thing that I'm buying like snow peas, can only find those without uh, plastic at one store. But I will not buy them when they're in plastic if I know I can just go get them next week at the other store where I'm gonna be going. I don't think I ever buy them in plastic. I won't say the same thing about fruits because fruits are a little bit more difficult, specifically berries. I do buy those in plastic just to, to balance out the conversation. I also don't buy greens in plastic. And as a matter of fact, I don't even buy greens anymore in general because we have this garden over here in our kitchen where you can grow all sorts of greens and I'm very excited about it. So I don't have to buy them in plastic anymore um, and I just don't have to buy them at all in general anymore. Very exciting. I never buy oil in plastic anymore because number one, I get mine refilled at our local Whole Foods. I can just take my bottle, get it refilled, don't have to buy a bottle at all. But there are also other options aside from buying olive oil in plastic. There are aluminum cans. Um, I've been able to buy from Thrive Market before at the beginning of the pandemic, basically when I couldn't get my bottle refilled. And then um, glass options 
as well. I don't buy soda or sparkling water in plastic either because we use our soda stream. That's the best option to not buy a single use bottle at all to make your own at home. But every now and then we splurge on Topo Chico lime because I haven't been able to figure out my own recipe for that yet. Neither has anyone on the internet. I Google it nearly every single week. If you know how to make a Topo Chico with a hint of lime in your soda stream, let a girl know. Point being, I don't buy the Topo Chicos even that come in plastic, they come in glass. Um, also, if I am going to get a soda and I'm not at home, that sort of thing, always opting for aluminum because it's one of the most recyclable materials we have than opting for plastic. I also do not buy like vitamins and supplements in plastic. So I personally, for my daily vitamins, I use Care Of. So that has my vitamin D supplement that I need. It also has my vitamin B12 supplement that I need and a couple other things that help with like mental clarity sort of stuff, but I also take a prebiotic by a brand called Seed, and they package their stuff. It's so, so cool. They're different like sustainable packaging materials that are completely plastic free. So they give you like a reusable glass bottle, the refills ship out in compostable packaging, and they also have this like mycelium mushroom substitute for styrofoam. So it's just really, really cool overall. I never buy vitamins and supplements in plastic anymore because there are finally alternatives on the market. It took a while since I've been aware of this for that to happen, but I'm so happy that it did. I never buy cleaners anymore in plastic. There are so many brands on the market doing cleaning supplies plastic free that we don't need to be buying them in plastic anymore, even if we're not the DIY queens, because we know I am not. I have a couple DIYs, my toilet bowl cleaner I do. Sometimes I do my all-purpose cleaner depending on what I have laying around. Like right now we're using up some Blue Land stuff that I have. I have a video ranking a few different sustainable cleaning brands. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it right here. A lot of questions about Blue Land, Clean Cult, things like that. It's all on that video. But yeah, not buying cleaning supplies in plastic anymore. Same thing with like laundry detergent. My laundry detergent by Drops, completely plastic free. Absolutely love them. I'll have it linked below, like I said. So what I currently use a brand called Fillery, which again, absolutely love them. They ship me this refill bottle. I fill up the bottle that I've had with them for several years now probably three or four years. And then I send that bottle back, they refill it, and they send it back. So it's a subscription model where I don't have to be buying plastic packaged dish soap. So I never buy that in plastic anymore. And this is one that I think a lot of people don't think about, but air filters. So not only do I not have to throw away the air filter itself every few months, um, as you're supposed to take them out, clean them, and replace them, and throw the other one away, but they also always come with a plastic film over them, and we've been able to avoid all of that waste by getting a reusable one. But we found that whenever we took the filter out to clean it, it would take a while to dry. Like literally it takes like, really you want it to sit out for like 24 hours and let it completely dry out so that it doesn't get moldy within your AC system. But that meant that there wasn't a filter in our system for 24 hours. So that was like, oh, this kind of this kind of sucks and like kind of made us be like, well, is this a good idea? But instead of just being like, well, let's just go back to the disposable ones, we just got two for each of our units. So when one is being cleaned and then it's being dried, I can put the other one in there in the meantime. And then like, we've just got this rotation going. I say that because a lot of times choosing the eco-friendly option, a lot of the reasons people don't want to do it is because it's inconvenient. It doesn't work as well. All that sort of stuff. There are a lot of pain points, if you will, when we talk about the more sustainable version of something. But if you can solve those pain points for not only yourself, but any of your friends and family you're trying to convince, then that's really, really helpful. I'm looking at my air vent like you can see it. Anyway, point being, yeah, I don't buy air vents, uh, air filters for my AC in plastic anymore. I'd love to hear things you never buy in plastic in the comments. I love to read your comments and maybe you can give me some more ideas. But everything I talk about today will be linked below, including Native Deodorant, which thank them for partnering with me, not only on this video, but over time, and also for being a brand who listens to the changes that their consumers ask them for. I'll leave my discount code at the top of the description. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys.